before I get into anything, sorry about the lighting. I know it's weird. I know there's a shadow, but it's so cloudy out and I really want to film this video, so I apologize. But this is a review slash demo kind of thing on the new L'Oreal Pure Sugar Scrubs, or just one of them. But you guys know for a while now, I've loved their masks. I've tried the grayish one, the blue one, the black one, the red one I really like. And those are pure clay masks. And now these are pure sugar scrubs. So interesting. But I got this for free from Influencer for testing. You guys know how Influencer works by now. If you're new to my channel, I'll leave my video below where I explain it. But pretty much you just sign up for free, totally free, no credit cards, nothing. Take surveys, review products, and based on your preferences, they send you out free stuff to try. Sometimes it's brand new, sometimes it's not. But today I received the Pure Sugar Scrub. Looks like this. They have three of them out now. There's one that is Nourish and Soften. It's like a brown color. And one that's Purify and Unclog. And that's like a green one. It has kiwi seeds in it. And I got the one that's Smooth and Glow. And it's kind of this color like an off brown color <laughs> thank you so much to influencer you guys know that just because it's free doesn't mean i'm lying i'm always 100 percent honest and i'm pretty sure it retails for 9.99 just like the masks do i think that's a pretty decent price there's tons of product in here this will last you so long i can just tell you that right now also you can always find coupons and things like that for the drugstore but so what this claims are all their scrubs claim they say they're the first gentle scrub for instant skin transformation that's a pretty hefty claim. And so this one that I have is the Smooth and Glow. It has three pure sugars plus grape seed. It smooths away dullness for glowing skin. I'm really glad I got this one because in the winter, my skin tends to be quite more dry. My skin my, just doesn't feel as nice and my makeup doesn't go on as clearly, as clearly, as smoothly. So I'm glad I got this one. I'm just gonna tell you what the box says. So it came in this box just like the masks do. And this one has acai, grape seed, minoy oil. I hope I'm saying that right. Brown sugar, blonde, and white sugars rich in minerals melt into your skin for gentle yet effective exfoliation and it leaves baby soft skin on both your face and lips now i used this last night so that's how my review is coming i'm gonna show you the demo and everything but i did not use it on my lips let me just throw that out there i have really sensitive lips and recently i woke up and my upper lip was like really swollen i don't know if you guys saw that on snapchat <laughs> and i get allergic reactions really badly on my lips so i didn't want to like risk it but i'm sure it would be fine on your lips if you like a lip scrub but the directions i feel like are really important so i am gonna read them out to you <laughs> smooth a small amount with dry fingers under clean dry skin and i think it's super important to know because even if you're sensitive to kind of scrubs and you'd rather mix it with water don't get water in here any scrub that comes in a tub like this you don't want to get water in here so don't use this in the shower once you get water in here it gets bacteria growth in it it's not the same anymore so just don't just make sure you're reaching in here with dry hands and it says massage over your dry face and then wet your fingertips and massage rinse with warm warm water use three times a week and it also says you can smooth and refine lips with this it immediately reveals smoother more glowing skin helps dirt oil impurities be removed and polishes dull skin and then in a week you're supposed to have baby soft smooth and skin that's comforted texture of your skin should be refined with visible a visible healthy glow and your skin should be rebalanced healthier smoother and glowing but so yeah that's kind of what the claims are i used this last night show you guys how i used it and like my first reactions and like how my skin looked after and everything like that so let me just plug that in right here and then i'll tell you what i thought So I hope you guys enjoyed that little demo. Obviously pretty simple to use, it's a scrub, nothing fancy, but overall my opinions are good. I'd give this five out of five stars. I literally have no problem with it. I do, however, kind of am bummed that L'Oreal still tests on animals. I just don't like that. I would not purchase this on my own simply for that reason. Anyway, the packaging I really like a lot. I love this, these glass jars so much product comes in these my first initial reaction to this before i even put it on my face was whoa the smell do you guys know that i've raved about the masks in the past and those smell amazing this one however 
it's not my favorite smell it's not bad by any means can't put my finger on the smell but the smell immediately like immediately reminded me of a scrub i used to use ages ago and if you were on my channel from the way beginning like i'm talking five years ago you'll remember this i had a scrub i'll try to put a picture in if i can that was from burt's bees and candy johnson was the one that recommended it so i got it and i think it was about the same price it was a little bit less product it came in a little round glass jar and i was obsessed with that i loved it, it smells exactly like this and i want to say the effect of it is very similar that one is a bit more of a dry texture this one when you dip your fingers in it's more of a soft texture but this one's a bit more gentle than that one but the smell is identical so i'm assuming they have very similar ingredients in them it has a very brown sugar kind of smell that's the way i would describe it uh, one thing i did want to say is after i used this when i was rinsing off my face and everything it did not leave residue in the sink which was really nice the birth is one i used to use and a lot of other scrubs i like that are a bit drier they definitely leave a little bit of residue in the sink so you have to like wipe it out this doesn't do that at all and also my first reaction when i went to apply this on my face before before I got it wet was that it is very very fine. I like something that's pretty abrasive. My skin isn't crazy sensitive and this didn't do that anyway. I think even if you are quite sensitive this shouldn't bother you. So it's a very fine scrub and then when you add the water to it it's very fine. So like when you're first scrubbing before when your face is dry I noticed that it can feel a little abrasive I guess but depends on your your level of abrasiveness that you like but once you add water, it's very gentle. Like it immediately went super gentle. So I think if you're very, very, very sensitive skin to exfoliation, this might be a good one for you to try if you're looking for glowing skin to get rid of that dullness or texture issues. And I could feel my skin getting softer. I have a few scars over here and like around my jawline. And I feel like it kind of helped with that because right now I'm not dealing with current breakouts as much as scarring and leftover things and I do feel like this actually helped. Afterwards my skin immediately felt super soft and smooth, almost hydrated in a way. Um, I also noticed my pores were slightly less obvious. I have pretty bad pores in this area. I did just feel super smooth. I think some of my dead skin dryness on my jawline was definitely removed. Now I did use this at night before bed when I took my makeup off and everything but I do think it would be amazing for the morning before you put makeup on. But I think that if you find that your makeup clings to dryness or just doesn't go on very smooth, if you use this in the morning before you apply your makeup, I think your moisturizer will absorb better and I think that your makeup will glide on way smoother it'll just look more healthy glowing so i used this last night and i do think the smoothing benefits lasted to the morning i'll see what happens tonight but i think that it says to use this i think it said three times a week and i think that you wouldn't need it more i'm pretty impressed i think three days a week would be ideal for this if you don't have too sensitive of skin type well i would i would totally continue to use this. i did want to show you some comparisons of products i have so other than that burt's bees one two things i use a lot that i think this could replace is the origins modern friction it's the nature's gentle germ abrasion i've raved about this for ages but this is 40 something dollars this is 10 and then i got this little sample from dr brant it's the poor germ abrasion poor a perfecting exfoliator i really like this and it was super nice it was very 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 fine but it felt almost identical to this this smells nicer and i do think this probably has more fragrance in it but this i'm assuming is quite expensive i don't know the exact price and this is ten dollars i think that if you're looking for something like this you will be really impressed i'll definitely continue to use this when i feel like i need it and it really does give your skin that refreshing kind of glow i woke up this morning feeling very glowy i didn't even put highlight on today but i feel like my skin is quite glowy i'm really glad i got this i'm really impressed i was a little scared i wouldn't like it but i really really do so i hope this gave you some insight into this let me know if you tried the green one or the other brown one what you thought of them but i hope this video helped you out if you did like it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to check out influencer my link is down below for you to check it out and i'll see you next time <coughs>